اللہ سے سندھ قرآن صلی اللہ عمران چاپ نمبر تھری وسلم ہنڈریڈ ٹین خن تم خیر امت خریدتی For example, in a school, the principal has got more honor than a teacher. A teacher has got more honor than a clerk. In the same way, the principal has got more responsibility than a teacher. A teacher has got more responsibility than a clerk. There is no honor without responsibility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran is giving an honor to the Muslim than saying, Kuntum khaira ummatin khrijat linnas. Oh, ye Muslims, ye are the best of peoples of all for mankind. Don't you think we have a responsibility? The reply is given in the same verse. Because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. Allah is calling us the khaira ummah, the best of people. Because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. If we do not enjoin what is good and if we do not forbid what is wrong, then we aren't fit to be called as khaira ummah. We aren't fit to be called as Muslims. It is farz on every Muslim that he conveys the message of Islam to those who are not aware. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 24, Kul in kana abawakum, say whether it be for fathers, wa abnaukum, or your sons, wa ikhwanukum, or your brothers, wa azwajukum, or your spouses, your wives, the husband, wa ashiratukum, or your relatives, Allah is saying in Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse number 24 What are your considerations? Are they your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your spouses, husbands, or wives, your relatives? And Allah continues The wealth that you have amassed The business in which you deal The houses in which you live Allah is asking you what are your considerations? Are they your fathers? Are they your sons? Are they your brothers? Are they your spouses, wives and husbands? Are they your relatives? Is it the wealth you have amassed? The business in which you deal? The houses in which you live? And Allah continues. Ahabba ilaykum min allahi wa rasulihi wa jihadin fi sabili. And if you love all these eight things more than Allah, more than his rasul, his messenger, and more than doing jihad, striving and struggling in his way, Allah says, فَتَرَبَّسُوا Wait, حَتَّى يَعْتِيَ اللَّهُ مِعْمْرِي Wait until Allah brings His decision to you. وَاللَّهُ لَا هَدْلُكُمُ الْفَاسِقِينَ And Allah guides not the fasik people. Allah is saying in the Quran that if you love all these eight things, your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your wives and husbands, your relatives, the wealth you have amassed, the business in which you deal, the house in which you live, if you love all these things more than Allah, His Messenger, and striving and struggling in Allah's way, Allah says, wait until Allah brings the destruction to you. Wallahu la hadrukum al-fasakim. And Allah guides not the fasak people. Today, it is the duty of every Muslim that they should convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims who are not aware of it. Allah says in Surah Muhammad chapter number 47, verse number 38, Allah says, وَإِنْتَتَوَلَّوْ that if you do not do your job, Allah will substitute in a place another people. Summa lakinam salakum, and they will not be like you. Wa inta tawallau yastabil kamun gairakum. Summa lakinam salakum. If you do not do your job, if you turn away from the path, Allah will substitute in your place another people. Yastabil kamun gairakum. Summa lakinam salakum, and they will not be like you.